Okay, real quick, let's talk about document indexes. So, I made this several months ago and we haven't been using it, but I met with Danny today on a project and I thought, man, we need to really start doing this. So this should go in the binder. And basically, when you add a document to a job, we should write that down. So, and I realize this needs more room. So I gotta fix this because there's not enough room for as big as I write, but. So are you including like when I just downloaded all the title report exceptions? Yeah, those need to go in here. Okay. Okay, so every time we add a doc, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? It's mostly maps and deeds, but it could be agreements or other things like we should make a note of that. What is it? What's the identifier? What is it? When did we add it? Who added it? Why is it going in there? Okay, so I'll give you an example why that's important. On this job that Danny and I are working on, Google sent us how many docs, Danny? 20. 20 docs. Danny went through, Danny and John have spent two or three days going through each one of those docs to figure out what it is and map it. Does it apply to the project? We've got them in a manila folder with post-it notes on it. Okay? And if we don't get organized, what's going to happen to me and Danny? It's going to get lost. We're going to answer that question for the client. And Danny's going to leave that folder sitting on his desk for two months. And then, we, actually, it won't even be two months. It'll be on the 20th. And then on the 20th, when we go to move, what's going to happen to that folder? It's going to get lost. It's going to get lost or recycled. And guess where all that information is at, besides Danny's brain? It should be on here. It's on a post-it note on those physical copies. And what's going to happen to those post-it notes? Oh, you're trashed. Okay. And so then, at some point, somebody in the project is going to send me a deed, and they're going to say, hey, so-and-so from title company X sent this over. What is it? And guess what Danny and I are going to do? Download all of them again and start over. We're going to repeat because we don't know what the heck. We don't remember that doc, right? And is Danny's brain a reliable, a reliable storage unit? Yes. yes. Depends on how the <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so ideally, we go, oh, like if, we, if it's in the job folder, it should be on here. And we should know what the heck it is, right? Okay, so here's the other part that goes with this. I don't have a template for this yet. I might make one today if I have time. It's called a deed sketch. Okay? And you guys are already doing this kind of on posty notes. Danny does it in the margin of the doc, <laughs> which is okay. Okay, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, it's, it's, not, it's gonna be real simple. It's gonna have like, uh, you know, doc ID, uh, you know, um, description. That's just like your note. Like, what is it? It's an easement deed. It's a whatever. Okay. And then I'm going to have a little box right here. Okay. You don't have to Kogu it even. All I want is uh, you could throw, get a Google Maps screenshot and you could sharp. You guys can see how I do with my Sharpies, right? You're just going to Sharpie over that thing on the Google Map. Okay, and that's going to go get attached to the front of the deed in the binder. So that as soon as you look at that, you see what? Oh, hey, that's what it is. That's roughly where it's at. Okay? That's what you need to do now on those 20 docs we got. Because if you don't, what will happen to us in April? We're going to do it again. I did this on Old County Road. Just a I didn't even have this form. It was just a loose sheet of paper that I sketched it out. Saved my bacon. Save my bait. There's a little tab in there called Deed Sketches. Okay, so from now on, Elena, when we're setting up a boundary, a job folder for a boundary, we'll have a tab in there called Deed Sketches that these will go in. Okay. That's awesome idea. All right, I just it got me. I was thinking about it today when I was talking to Dan. Okay, so we'll do that. This like this literally takes. I mean, it's ten minutes. That would have been helpful though, even with the CRC one, so much that was trapped yeah. beforehand. All that like, stuff. I had to go reinvent the wheel and figure out which one was which. And so, I don't necessarily want us to go backwards, other than a Ryan Park, Danny, you can do. Right. But moving forward, let's do this. Um, if we have easements that are not on the parcel map for industrial, let's do this. I'll get this done tonight. I'm going to try and get that done tonight before I go. Okay? Any questions? Do you feel like you're being ruled by a tyrant with an iron fist? I'm not even close. Um, right. So I used to make, if I did an easement, I made it the exception and the dock number as the layer. And I'd draw the easement on that Oh, layer. I'm glad you brought that up. 
we got one other thing we want to need to talk about that uh, that uh, if nobody did anything wrong, Danny asked me a question and I and I I don't want to just answer it for Danny. I want to answer it for everybody. Okay, it's a good question, and um, I know we've talked we've probably talked about it before, but I want to talk about it again. And it has to do with how we organize drawings on a boundary project. Okay, so Danny's got uh, we got a, a parcel on Orion Park. It looks something like this. I'm simplifying a little bit, but and there's a dispute over the location of this common boundary. I don't know, Danny. What's this? Is it like 12 feet or something? Yes. Okay. So depending on who you believe, the line could be here or it could be here. Okay. And finally, some got some surveyor came in and and surveyed, did a big survey and said, "Oh no, it's this line up here," and that's what I'm going to hold. Okay, because it's monumented on the ground, and it seemed like the right thing to do. Okay, so here's the problem. Now Danny's mapping an easement along this side of the parcel for the water district, and it comes up, if you code it per record, it goes like this. I'm sorry. Boy, I just told, by the way, don't try to race blue with your finger. It goes like this, sorry. Okay, so Danny's like, what do I do? So here's what I told him. I said, hey, we're going to break this right here, and we're going to rubber band this up, okay? That process of doing that, that's called, that's called uh, resolved. That's fully resolved. This is record as is fully resolved. Fully resolved means you adjust the lines to match the calls. I guarantee in that easement doc, they call this, they call this line. Okay, now Danny said, well, do we break it here or do we break it here? That makes a difference, doesn't it? I'm going to break it here because it's more conservative to break it there, right? <clears throat> if I broke it here and slid it up, it's possible that we could cut something off like this, right? So I'm going to hold this line and we're just, because it's, what, what do I do? Okay, I got to pick. Okay, so here's why I brought that example up. In our, as a general rule, in our folder, we should have two drawings for every boundary okay we have a boundary search and then a boundary working final one or the other here these are mutually exclusive okay so here's the rule everything in search is record everything Everything in working final is resolved. So I want to know if, if I want to I want a drawing somewhere that has the geometry per the doc, period. So where is Danny gonna put this blue shape before it gets broken? 12 feet off that line. And which drawing? Search. Goes in search. Okay, search is also where we put our search points. That's why I call it search. Okay. When he breaks it, and rubber bands it up, that line work goes in which drawing? That goes in working. Okay, working resolved, record search. Okay, Danny, you look like you might be a little bit confused or unhappy or otherwise yeah. digesting that. Um, boundary search is easements, grant deeds, yep. everything maps and put together yep. per record. As blocks. As blocks, perfect. That's what okay. I mean. When you get into the working drawing, I don't want to see, I shouldn't see any document numbers. It's either V boundary fee, V boundary easement, V boundary tie. If I want to know where something came from, I either look at the notes or I go back to the search drawing. And it, in the search drawing, that block's going to be labeled by the doc. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Does the engineer ever get the search drawing? No. No, they don't know what to do with the search drawing. What do they want? The they want to know where is it at on the ground most of the time, right? Okay, then, Danny, this is your base, right? You got your, your base here, your base drawing, you're just your line work. We're going to X ref that in to the parcel configuration exhibit and label those easements, right? And then we'll have a new work product drawing. Okay, so I just I wanted to run through the difference. Matt's asking you, what's search, what's working? 
usually most of the time we're going to have both of those drawings. Okay, on something really simple, we got a four-sided parcel per parcel map where re everything record matches measure, you know, measured matches record. We might not necessarily need a search drawing, but okay.